Hey everybody, welcome to part 6 of Mega Man X5. I was about to say Mega Man X6. <laughs> but uh, now we are under attack by Dynamo again. He doesn't learn his lesson. But anyway, for the second Dynamo fight, I'll be taking him on with Arn Armor X. And of course I'll equip Mega Man X with Quick Charge, Super Recovery, and Burst Shot. I normally I don't really care about I think I'm gonna get speed shot later on but I really don't care about them the only thing I care about is a quick charge itself and as you expected the second dynamo fight is gonna be a little bit more challenging and trickier see the background changes um, if you are still firing the Enigma, it's gonna be there, but uh, the Enigma failed and now we're gonna be launching a shuttle Hence the reason why the background is a shuttle <laughs> But anyway Dynamo he still have the same attacks he does on the first fight. He gonna throw stuff at you That's just a different one. He gonna jump and then slash you for that attack ran all the way to the other corner <clears throat> Excuse me ran all the way to the other corner of the room and quickly jumped to the other side And he ground pounded um, The first wave You can dodge it easily by d going over to one corner of the room and as for the second one quickly jump out for the first very split split second that attack will not hurt you use that time to run away and then jump back when the third attack happened and that's how you dodge it for me at least and I was gonna do a no damage run here but I messed up at the end because I got distracted that's one thing I hate about doing no damage run it's like you're doing so well in the beginning and then you F up at the very end and it just takes me off so I was like ah frick it <laughs> but yeah that thunder attack is kind of tricky to dodge anyway I'm gonna be using this part to explain about Mega Man X5 part system because I am going back to Duff McWellen stage to get myself the last <laughs> excuse me to get myself the last piece of the Falcon armor so let's get straight to the point you can only get these parts I'll say it over and over again by playing I take it back only is not a right word the best way to get all the parts is always start the game at 10 hours. No matter which character you pick at first. I know the people say that the parts depends on the rank you're in as well as the boss level and the boss health. And the best way to increase the boss level is by playing the game when the hour is really really close you can only guess the part the parts when the earth is almost at the verge of destruction I guess I don't know how that works like oh shit the, the earth is gonna be destroyed we better make a whole bunch of parts so X and Zero can get through the game easily I guess <laughs> but um, yeah the best way to get this part is always start the game at 10 hours. And 10 hours will always guarantee you a part. No matter what you do. No matter what rank you are in. And one thing to note is that if you die too many times in a level. You will certainly uh, lose a lot of ranking. Your rank will be... You will get demoted that's what it is. But trust me, I get a whole bunch of part playing as Mega Man X with B rank. So ranking is not 
a real problem when you play the game at 10 hours. Now, the boss level is also important because I think if the boss is at least level 9 or 8, I'm not sure, I don't really care. I just start the game at 10 hours. Excuse me, I always start the game at 10 hours and I guarantee a part. So yeah, and because the boss is higher level, you expect them to have higher health, so that is not a problem at all. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's a really good explanation on how the parts work. And when you start the game at 10 hours, you will always guarantee a part, right? And excuse me, if you do not start at 10 hours, and when Alia asks you, "Hey, you want to make a weapon and life?" If you notice, it's always say weapon and life plus. If you start the game at 16 hours, you only see the option of weapon and life. There will be no the plus, there will be no plus right after that. And you do want the plus because the plus part is where Alia will make a part for you. Without the plus, she will only make you the life up. Which is a good thing, but what you really want is also the parts, especially the quick charge for Mega Man X and the shock buffer for Zero. Because Zero defense is just shoot. It's, it's useless. So with the shock buffer, you can pretty much turn your normal Zero into a god. <laughs> so, and the way for you to acquire the part after you select weapon and life plus is that you have to go through two different stages. So after Ayla asks you, hey, when you want to create this part, you have to go to a stage, exit it, and then go to another stage. It doesn't have to be another stage, it can be the same stage. And then exit it again, then you will get the part. That's how it works. Because as you notice, I did not get um, the part for crap! <laughs> oh god! Don't do that. That happened to me way too many times. That's why I usually save before I start doing this. I know I'm gonna f up. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Anyway. What we're about to say, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, you get the parts after getting out of two stages. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to finish the stage itself. You can just go in a stage and then quit, and then you get the part like two of them. See you in the next part.